Hey guys, what's up? It's I Jevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Dun, dun, dun. All right, guys. So last time we left off, we uh, we started working on a carrot farm, which is pretty much grown and full now. Uh, all the carrots going into the chest here. We pretty much cleaned up everything last episode to make sure it looked fancy. Then we uh, decided to work on our vines area there to get down to another area. So the, the biggest problem with this build so far, other than glowstone, is the fact that we keep running out of wood. So I think today we really got to get a tree farm going. But I think I'm going to do a tree farm a little bit different this time. Typically when you make a tree farm, you make spots for all trees, you know? Whenever you need one, you just go and chop down that, that tree's farm. Um, <clears throat> well, to conserve space, because digging out a tree farm for six different types of trees is going to, you know, take, like, hours. Um, <laughs> we're going to make it to where one farm can hold all the trees and we'll grow what we need when the time comes. Uh, I'm noticing that I don't have any spruce saplings, which could be a bad deal. Uh, anyways, guys, so I just want to thank you guys for being awesome. <laughs> As always, you guys are amazing. We had a great, like, a fantastic stream last night. Uh, and one thing that I really want to touch on is that um, I am no longer going to be uploading videos to my channel, letting you guys know that I'm streaming. Uh, one reason why, uh, there's a couple reasons. I feel like I'm spamming my channel when I do that. And another reason is I really feel like I should be able to grow uh, without needing my YouTube channel. Even though I know it's a little bit silly and you're probably thinking like, why would you ever do that ever? You're dumb. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, I just feel like it would be a necessary thing. So, uh, with that being said, I uh, will no longer be uploading to my channel when I when I stream. So every night, I um, we if you have entered your name into the uh, the email list, I email everybody, letting them know that what videos went out that day, and then um, from there, man, this, my server, my connection to the server is still terrible. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go two in. We're going to go down pretty far, though, because um, we need to... There. Let me fill this back in real fast. Um, my connection to the server is still terrible. Um, but, yeah, so we had a great, like, just the, the the audiences that we're building and everything is fantastic. Same with the YouTube channel. You guys are going to notice last night that we lost about 400 subs on the YouTube channel. Um, YouTube regularly removes subscribers. Uh, they remove dead accounts, things like that. So if you come in, you're like, whoa, what happened? You know, like, if you look at, like, Social Blade or something, don't freak out. It happens. It's a normal thing on YouTube. Um, it's all good, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so what we're doing is we're kind of planning out a staircase here. This is going to be a straight staircase rather than a curved staircase because we want a tree farm down here. Uh, I'm trying to think about how big I want. I think we're going to do four right here. Uh, but I think I'm going to do this one a little bit different than I typically would. I want to give my, myself more branch off options. So I think once we hit this area. So we gave ourselves two. Okay. So, one, two. So right here, I think, is what I want. Let me get rid of this. Um, how far over are we from the wall? So we are uh, two over. All right, this is hard to do. Um, so right there? Hold on. I'm going to break this out and we're going to continue to talk. Yeah. So YouTube regularly removes YouTube subscribers and uh, it's really, it's not a big thing. Uh, they're just removing dead accounts. And so the, the reason that they're removed dead accounts is because it each user obviously takes up space on their servers and with space on their servers means more money that they're spending. So the less dead accounts that they have, the better. Um... Okay, so I've actually done a three wide space here that I notice it is one, two, three. I guess if we wanted to, let's move this one more this way. There we go. And uh, so that'll be three. And then we'll have a four wide space in here. Two, three, four. But yeah, so I want to apologize for the lateness of this video today, guys. Uh, I'm a bit stressed at the moment, and so the reason for that is last night at about 3 in the morning, uh, we woke up to Luna throwing up. Um, he's been sick all day. We don't know what's wrong with him. Um, we called the vet, 
and uh, we told them like what the situation was, and they're like, "Well, monitor him, you know, make sure that he's not going to like you know throw up again." So he's thrown up probably four or five times since like four in the morning, and uh, we've been up pretty much all night with him. So I just haven't had a chance to record because I've been sitting there, you know, taking care of him and stuff. Um, but I just want you guys to know that the cat always comes first, obviously, and I'm sure you would feel the same way. Uh, so I'm hoping to get this video out on time. If it's not, oh well, it happens. Um, but uh, other than that, though, the, the revamp is going really well. And we just got to keep on grinding. So let me finish digging out this tunnel here really fast, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've got the staircase dug out. And I'm always, every time I build a new pathway in our base, I want to give us the most possibility to be able to move you know if we ever need to go somewhere so we can turn here we can come down the steps you know go there or there or go down the steps and go there um that way we never run out of possibilities to go to a new spot now i forgot to uh mention the Geminator challenge for this video guys we're gonna do 600 likes on the video and if you if you uh if you guys beat the challenge you will get a bonus video probably tomorrow uh, so jumping your challenge for this is 600 likes and uh, make sure you guys show that support remember even if you don't like the video um, You know if you I, what I'm saying is if you dislike the video make sure you dislike don't just like it because I say like it I want honest feedback guys, so honesty is key By the way, I love harvesting this thing. I'm glad that it's finally working How much should we actually get from that? Oh, it's still running. Okay. Anyways, so tree farm time. So I'm thinking about our tree farm. Um, and on our, our vanilla single player world, we made a really cool um, just six like uh, 64 sapling uh, area with um, with the saplings, you know, like the oak farm that we did where it was like eight by eight. I want to like kind of recreate that, but I want to make the room big enough to where it can hold any of the saplings. Is that right? There's one more. So once again, just making um, another barricade, so like that, and so that would be the door, and then so for this room in here, um, I'm trying to think about how big we should actually make this thing. So it would come into there, and so this is the actual room that we would be in. Now, uh, some trees kind of branch out, you know. So what I'm thinking is if we have our base area is an eight by eight doorway, you know, like if this is eight by eight, um, we should probably do, I want to say 12 by 12 should be the room size. That gives us pretty much four blocks on either side. And then as for height, I'm, I'm thinking probably around, you know, maybe 12 by 12, uh, 12 high, 12 wide. You know 12 long so 12 by 12 by 12 would be the room size i think we'll test that later on with some different tree sizes to make sure that that works um and hopefully it does so once i get the rest of this dug out then we can proceed to you know putting the saplings in and then maybe putting anything else that we might need uh maybe some hoppers to catch stuff and things like that so let's go ahead and get that dug out and i'll be right back all right guys let's go ahead and test out our farm here i've got a pretty good size room dug out. it's not 12 by 12 it's 12 by 6 i think i think this is going to be tall enough though uh, i'm still deciding on what i want to do for the uh the middle platform here i'm not sure if i want to do um just a two by two and put hoppers around or if i want to make it a little bit bigger for long-term growth and have more trees growing all the time we'll see though so let's go ahead and see if this tree is going to grow okay so it looks like it might need to be a little bit taller all right let's um let me let me take the roof down too all right guys let's hope and pray that this is high enough um i cannot go any higher i am outside right here like the waterfall that we made is right there so come on baby any luck yay and we still have one tall that's awesome okay perfect um now we just got to decide on how we want to grow this now do we want to let's see we only got we only got what five from that yeah we are definitely going to need to uh let's see so we grew up from right here so i went two blocks over so right there hold on 
Was that the original 8x8? Eight eight? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, yeah, we're going to do the 8x8 eight eight then. So, uh, two on each side. Um, yeah, we want to get a, a maximum efficiency of growth here. I'll put uh, hoppers um, along the outside of this, and then we'll, you know, we'll do some room decoration and stuff too, once we actually get wood, because we're pretty much lacking in that area. Um, I've, we've got to go outside and check and make sure we didn't do any damage to the landscape, though. Um, just want to make sure. By the way, somebody asked me yesterday on stream, who is my favorite hermit? Um, I don't actually have a favorite hermit, because I enjoy watching all their videos equally. It is one of the hardest things in the world to watch every single Hermit's video. And, like, there's sometimes it's just not enough to... Because, you know, we put out a ton of content, guys. Like, the hermit, the Hermits are very good about getting videos out. That's, like, we, we, we feel special about that. Like, not a lot of other groups, like, put out a lot of content like we do. Um, so it's very hard. But there is one way that you can watch all of our videos <laughs> and that is with uh the hermitcraft.com website and there it's a great website hypno put it together uh and it lists all of the hermits videos so that's a good thing all right let's run outside real fast and check and see if we messed anything up i don't hope i don't think we did but we'll see our base is definitely coming together uh i love how it just expands and expands every single episode Alright, so we were we are pretty much down the hill at this point. Like it's weird to know that you start here, but we're all the way down here. Um it doesn't look like I messed it up any. No, uh, no it looks fine actually. Okay, I'll definitely take the insects. Oh uh, no, everything looks good. Awesome. Okay, so we are just fine. Yay! Alright, so um let's go ahead and move on. All right, guys, so I want to go ahead and take a look around spawn here. I've noticed that there's some shops popping up, and I want to take a look and see what's going on. So first off, I noticed that this one popped up a couple of days ago. I'm not sure if it's open yet. I want to see what it is, though. Uh, Symmetry Springs coming soon. So I'm assuming that this is probably going to be a potion shop. I'm not sure, though. And then I noticed that there is an enchantment building up here. I want to check that one out, too. Um, man, I'm so nervous, guys. I hope my cat's all right. I don't think you guys understand. Like, that little kitty is my life. I love that little guy. He's my he's my favorite. Whoa. Okay. Come on now. Was this the pathway to it? Yeah, this is the pathway. So I'm assuming that you can buy and then sell stuff here. I don't know. I like this building though. The building is awesome. Coming soon. Nothing. Anything else in here? I don't think this building is finished. Buying and selling. One diamond, okay. 64 lapis for one diamond, that's not bad. I might actually buy some lapis, like 64 carrots, one diamond, okay. I wouldn't buy the carrots because, well, we don't really need the carrots, hold on. I have to fix that, it's bugging me. Infinity, two diamonds. Anything else? Feather falling, two diamonds. Uh, Alright, let's go upstairs. Got a nice little enchanting system here. I like this place. This is neat. This is awesome. I don't think it's done up here. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was just starting to work on this. This is uh, a pretty awesome house, though. I like it a lot. Um, then I noticed that there was a slime hut. Um, I think there's two other shops that I've, I'm not mistaken. Free pigs! <laughs> Yay! Alright, so I noticed that there was a slime over here today. Right there. Uh, I want to go over there. And then I think there might be a shop right there. Oh, there might be a shop right there as well. I want to check out both of these. I like to see what people sell. I, I like to support local business, okay? You got to support local business, guys. It's the best way to go. Don't be silly. Uh, I guess this would be the easiest way to get over there. I'm just going to take the water. I move faster in water. I like this house. Okay. 
Is there no... Oh, I bet it's just a free community slime farm then. UHC monument. Let's go in here. We haven't taken a look at this yet either. So there's all kinds of stuff just popping up all over the place. Golden apple. Right, let's see what we got in here. Do, 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 do. Player skulls here. I should probably try to get a skull in there, you think? What in the world? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it doesn't like list anything. I should probably be in one of these though. Because I did win a UHC. Yay! UHC is so much fun though. Like, look at this guy right here. Whoa! Not cool, dude. Come out of nowhere. Alright, um, like I said, I think there was one other building over there that I want to check out. I'm not sure if that was actually for sale or anything, but we're going to look. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Luna, um, he, he doesn't really throw up often, so that's why I think we're worried so much. Uh, plus, you just don't want to see your cat in pain. That's the weird thing about cats, though. You know, when they're in, when they hurt, they don't show it. Cats are very like, they're like, nah, bro, can't even do it. The little ladder shop. Pay what you think is fair for ladders. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And I don't think there's any other shops around just yet. Uh, I think that's, isn't that the Red Stone Consultancy right there? Other than that, I think that's all the shops I've seen. Ah, uh, there's a wild slip gator. I've only died once. I'm such a baller at this game. server this is awesome <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> what where else can you do stuff like that just randomly shoot at each other until somebody wins that's amazing <laughs> i should have moved it's all good though uh, all right guys let's go ahead and move on all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video now we actually decided that we're going to take Luna to the kitty urgent care because he threw up again. So uh, I'm sorry to end early, but it's just got to be done. So um, don't forget about the jumping in the challenge and don't forget to show your support down in the description below. Hope that you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.